Oh, oh, there you are. Hi. I'm glad you were able to come in again. I was just thinking about you. Glad you came in. I was just remembering that story you told me. What a wonderful story. Let me remember if I have it right. You were working as uh, the accounting manager at that supermarket chain. And you get a phone call, and it's the CFO. And the CFO says, I'd like you to come up to the president's office. There's a meeting. Okay, sure. So you take the elevator up to the executive floor. You come out. The president's sitting in that you know, beautiful corner office. There's executive secretary out front. Executive secretary looks up, sees you, says, you're being expected. Go ahead in. You go ahead in. You see there's already, you know, it's a beautiful office, you know, uh, with artwork on the floors and beautiful paneling and beautiful carpet. And um, the president is sitting behind this, you know, cherry wood desk. Four chairs in front of the president, occupied by the, the chief of security, the CFO who called you, the uh, human resources, and the council, corporate council, legal council. And so the CFO sees you and points to a, uh, over on the corner there, is a, um, is a, um, a couch. And wants you to just sit down, you know, and don't say anything. Okay, fine. So you sit down, and um, basically they're having a conversation about the um, employee theft. There's an assertion, there's a thought that a lot of employees are stealing merchandise from the company. And they want to try to get a sense of what percentage of the employees are stealing, stealing stuff from the company. So <clears throat> the head of security says, listen, what we need to do is administer lie detector tests. We'll administer lie detector tests to all the employees and we'll get a firm handle on the situation. Legal department's like, no, 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 we can't do that. There's all kinds of problems with that. There's all kinds of invasions of privacy, statutory laws. We can't do that kind of stuff. Security says, well, as another alternative, we can install cameras. We'll have cameras in all kinds of places. We'll be keeping an eye on the employees. And HR is like, well, I don't know if I like that idea too much. I mean, what about, you know, you're not going to put them in the restrooms, are you, for Pete's sake? And where are you going to put these? I think, and the, and the legal guy, person is like, yeah, there's also issues of privacy there, too. And the <clears throat> CFO is like, cameras, that's going to cost you all equipment, and you're going to have to have software, and you're going to have to have more employees. This is going to cost a lot. So they're calling back and forth, and you're kind of sitting quietly, you know, listening, and they're going back and forth, and it's getting louder and louder, and, you know, it's getting a little uncivil a bit. And the president of the company says, all right, stop. Puts up his hands, let's stop, okay? Everybody quiets down. And he points at you and says, listen, CFO here has a lot of respect for you. Says that you, um, meaning you, have uh, think out of the box. Look at things sometimes a little differently than the conventional way. Come on up here. So you get up and you go over, and the um, president says, do you have any thoughts on this matter? What's your opinion here? So um, he said, well, yeah, I, I do have an opinion here. I do have a thought. Okay, well, what's that? He says, well, my proposal is that somebody, perhaps me or somebody else, doesn't matter, go out, and we ask each of the employees whether they've stolen anything or not. It's a, it's a survey. And the head of security says, oh, that's ridiculous. He said, well, wait a minute, there's a small caveat. When you go to ask the, each employee, one by one, we're first going to say, take a coin out of your pocket. Take a, a quarter out of your pocket, and you flip a coin. And I'm not going to look at it, but if it's heads, you're just going to answer yes, that you do steal, you do take money out of the company. If it comes up no, I want you to answer truthfully. That way, if you do say yes, I don't know whether you're saying yes because you're answering truthfully, or if you're answering yes because... Um, the coin came up heads. It's a way of providing some anonymity. So um, the uh, head of security says, that's the most goofiest thing I've ever heard in my life. And HR says, well, that's pretty interesting. I mean, tell me more. So you say, okay, well, we'll give you an example, all right? So, so how many employees does the company have? So the CFO says, well, I was just talking to payroll and we got a count of 672 employees. Okay, so you reached in, you had your calculator, you pulled out your calculator, you punched some stuff in, and you said, well, let's, let's assume that, for, by way of example, 375 people say yes. Okay, what's that proof? Well, with 375 people saying yes, in this scenario, we could approximate that 11.6% of the employees, of all employees, are, are stealing stuff, are non-compliant, you know, with our taking merchandise. 
the president is kind of intrigued and says, how'd you calculate that? So you told him, well, actually, you showed him. It's right up here. You know, so I'll show you. You start off with, it's the coin flip questionnaire. We have an employee count of 672. And approximately 50% will get heads, right? I mean, not exactly perfectly, but over a course of 672, it's going to be kind of close. That would be 336 people get heads. Now, you told me that 375 people got heads. Or 375 people answered yes, excuse me. So the number of yes responses in excess of the 50% count is 39. And you simply take that 39 divided by that 50% count of 336, and arithmetically it comes to 11.11607. That's 11.6% that is not compliant. So the CFO says, well, that is interesting, but you know, do you have a proof for that? How do we know that 11.6% is correct? Well, sure, yeah, I can do a proof. Here, look at this over here. So if the total population is of 672, my, your, assertion, my, your assertion was that 11.6% of that 672 is not compliant, 11.6% of the 672 would be 78 people. So if you subtract, that means 672 minus 78 means 594 people are in compliance. So of those 594 people that are in compliance, about half will get heads, and they'll say yes. That's 297 people. 50% of 594 is 297. Now, the people that are not compliant, the people who are stealing, all of them are going to answer yes. Half of them are going to answer yes because their coin flip said yes, and they're allowed to say yes. It came up heads, and they're allowed to say yes. And the other half, well, if they're being honest, which hopefully they will be, they'll, they'll be saying yes also. If they got a tails and they're being honest, they'll say yes. So all 78 are going to say yes for two different reasons. Anyway, you add the 297 plus the 78, that gives you 375. That was our proof number. That's what we started off with. So the president smiles at this and says, you know what? This is brilliant. This is brilliant. No issues with human resources, right? No issues with the legal team. In terms of security, you wanted to spend a whole bunch of money. Oh my God, this person didn't say, saved us all kinds of money. If we'd gone down your path, if we'd gone down your, say, these other people's paths, all kinds, of, all kinds of craziness would have happened. Turns to the CFO and says, I can see why you like this person here. I think this person deserves a raise and a promotion. It's going to save a lot, lot more money just by giving this person a leave in promotion and, and keeping them on our team. So, of course, you went home. You told your whole family about it. They're quite pleased. They're all excited. Everybody's, you know, very happy with you. And you know what? That is why you are one ace accountant. And how about we give you one round of applause, all right? All right, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.